protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Listen to what else Rand Paul had to say. They say Rand Paul went on the offensive, this is the Huffington Post, reshaped the debate and had his strongest performance yet. They go on to say, when Trump filled his remarks on the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal with China bashing, Paul saw a clear opening. He said, hey, Gerard, you know, we might want to point out that China is not part of the deal, he told the debate moderator. And the moderators can see the point, and the crowd chuckled, and as Huffington Post said for once, Trump was the butt of the joke. Well, actually, I think Trump had a good point. And as I mentioned yesterday, I thought it was a stroke of genius, even if he didn't come back and retort to that. That is the way the TPP is being sold to us, as a counterbalance to China. And what Trump did in the debate, but even more so yesterday when he released his policy statement, he didn't release a policy statement on the TPP. What he talked about was the fundamental, the big elephant in the room, if you will. China. That's what's happening with trade. So I think we need to understand that, but we also need to directly address the TPP. We only have Trump addressing it as a deal that wasn't negotiated very well by Obama. Yeah, that's one very, very tiny aspect of it. I'll take it if he wants to oppose it, even if he doesn't have the big picture that he's presenting to people. I would have liked to have seen Rand Paul push the big picture and tell people what's really going on here, but nobody talked about the TPP last night. Nobody. This was an economic debate. Nobody had anything to say about something that is going to fundamentally transform our economy economically and create a global union, just as they're destroying the European Union, just as they're destroying America with the open borders. These will also be tools of destruction, but they will be tools of construction as well, both these trade treaties as well as the climate treaty that they're pushing in uh, Paris. But let's look at what Obama is telling people. He says, read the TPP deal for yourself. That's what he said yesterday. Obama, Tuesday morning, asked people to make their own judgment about the Trans-Pacific Partnership by reading it themselves online. However, Jeff Sessions, senator from Alabama, tweeted out a picture showing just how hard it would be for the average person to read this deal. He showed a tweet of, uh, he tweeted out a, a pile of papers in this picture three feet high on his desk. And of course, as we pointed out before many times, this is three times the length of the entire Bible. And it is four times the combined works of William Shakespeare, four times the magnum opus of J.R.R. Tolkien, the entire uh, trilogy of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. So this is not something you're going to read right away unless you're somebody like Ben Carson. Because within less than 24 hours, Ben Carson said, yeah, well, you know, I had some misgivings about it, but now I support it. Really? When we think about how fast Ben Carson can read and the incredible uh, insights that he can gain when he's reading at that speed, I want you to take a look at this tour of his house that was put on the Daily Mail. It's inside Ben Carson's eccentric Maryland mansion, complete with a shrine to himself. And look at what he's got on the wall, engraved on the wall. I mean, of course, he's got a large shrine there with a lot of different pictures to himself. And then he has, in stark contrast, a Bible verse about humility. By humility and fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. And he puts that there in this engraved thing. Look at the, the reference to the Bible verse there. Proverbs, Proverbs 22.4, not Proverbs. And this is something that is engraved on his wall. And he hasn't seen the missing R. But of course, he wants us to believe that in one night he read something that is three times the entire Bible and he understands it and he caught all the details when he's got something on his wall that is completely misspelled. <laughs> I wonder if he becomes president, if he will spell it with an R. Maybe he'll drop the P and simply be a resident. This is a guy who is posing as the ultimate outsider. And most people are buying this. And yet he is the ultimate insider. Look at this article from Politico when he was asked about what he would do at the Fed. And of course, this presumption is you're never going to get rid of the Fed. And he doesn't have any problem with the Fed itself. And he doesn't have any problem with Janet Yellen, the chairman of the Fed, because he and Janet go back. They go back to Yale. He says, Janet Yellen is a wonderful person. I've known her for many years. And they point out in the article that Yellen and Carson are both Yale alumni. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. This guy is not an outsider. 
He is an insider. He's got connections to the most powerful people in the country, people who run the Fed. Just like Herman Cain had been involved with the Fed, they pick people that look good, that sound good, and they present them as outsiders, but they really are insiders. And that's why Ben Carson has no problem with war. He wants to have war everywhere. He wants to up the ante with Putin, and he wants to have these trade treaties. He's offering himself for sale, and he is for sale. He is for sale to the establishment. Now, the other part of this, of course, is the Pope is making a moral case for a climate change treaty. And this looks like this is very imminent, coming at us strongly. But as I pointed out just a couple of weeks ago, massive scandals and books talking about money laundering, manipulating of markets. This is from the Pope who is pushing a new plan for world government, a indulgence, if you will, for having to use energy. But he's saying that he's doing this as a moral case. While you have this massive corruption in the Vatican Bank, and now we find out that Vatican properties are operating as brothels and massage parlors for the priests. This is another leak from the Vatican. And guess what the name of the organization within the Vatican, the bureaucracy, that owns these buildings. It's the Congregation for the Propagation of the Faith, owns these brothels. Absolutely astounding. And yet, they continue every time there's corruption that comes out. They always portray this as, well, this pope wants to reform this. So he's in this fight with all the bad guys in the Vatican. Is that really true? He's been there nearly three years, and he hasn't done a single thing to stop this, to stop the pedophile abuse, to arrest, or even to depose any priests. We have corruption in the Vatican. This stuff is just being leaked, but he's not doing anything about it. Nevertheless, Al Gore, Al Gore is very optimistic that they are going to ram through a global governance treaty. That's what's being proposed in Paris. They say a twist for the Paris climate talks. Al Gore now is an optimist. After decades of raising the alarms about global warming, Al Gore is sure that this time is going to be different. He says, I'm optimistic. We're going to win this. We need to win it faster because a lot of damage is being done day by day. Well, you know what? The Pope fought Copernicus because Copernicus said that the universe rotated around the earth, a geocentric view of the universe, because that was a man-centered view of the universe. And now what they're selling us is a man-centered view of the climate. And really, the sun is really the center of our climate. It affects us more than anything. Look at this article from The Nation. Cold sun is rising. The sun will go into hibernation mode around 2030. It's already started to get sleepy. A Royal Astronomical Society meeting, Professor Valentina Zarkova confirmed it. Other scientists have suggested years ago the change was imminent, but Zarakova's model is said to be near perfect accuracy. And it's going to be worse than just less heat. It's actually going to cool the planet off in a number of other ways. Now, when we come back, we're going to have uh, questions about how the government really helps the veterans. And we're going to have some personal remembrances from Joe Biggs. What does it mean to him to be a veteran? We'll be right back. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new, groundbreaking, gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water, pairing the unprecedented superfiltration power of an all-new gravity block core with a hybrid chromatic shell. It removes up to 99.999% of impurities, including bacteria, viruses, fluoride, disinfectants, volatile organic contaminants and hormones filter capacity up to 5,000 gallons stainless steel construction easy assembly low maintenance replacement filters are simple to install and now as part of an exclusive limited time introductory offer you can save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping this is a limited time offer so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off go to infowarsstore.com or call 888-253-3139 